Hello. The Tour de France is over 100 years old, and believe you me, the Great Tour has evolved since its beginnings. This is what the first tour looked like. In January 1903, Henri de Grange, editor-in-chief of the newspaper Auto, a sports newspaper specialized in bike racing, announced the creation of the greatest cycling event ever organized that would take place between the 1st of June all the way through to the 5th of July. Unfortunately, the conditions were far too strenuous and the prizes too meager, and so, on the eve of the start, only 15 participants were signed up. This being a little short for the greatest cycling event ever organized, Henri de Grange decided to postpone the date of the start and to considerably increase the prize money. In the end, 60 cyclists shot off the starting line on July 1st in Montgeron, in the southern districts of Paris, in front of the now famous Réveil Matin. The start was held in a suburb rather than Paris, seeing as the police prefect for the Seine, Louis Lepine, had forbidden races in the capital city. While the race is far shorter today and contains no mountain stages, the conditions of the first tour were far more difficult. Participants had to finish a tour of 2,428 kilometers in only six stages linking the main cities of France, Paris, Lyon, Marseille, Toulouse, Bordeaux, and Nantes. The Frenchman Maurice Garin covered the distance between Paris and Lyon over 467 kilometers in only 17 hours, 45 minutes, and 44 seconds. The stages were so long and so difficult that racers were given a three days rest in between stages. Out of the 60 racers that began the race, only 21 of them finished it. On July 18th, Maurice Garin, having already won two stages, won the sixth and final stage of the race that linked Nantes to Paris, with a three-hour lead against the racer in second place, Lucien Potier. Nowadays, he still holds the record for a largest gap between the first and second place. Arsène Milochot would finish the race nearly 65 hours after Maurice Garin. While the race was organized by a newspaper, the Auto, the journalists sent in order to cover the event, Géo Lefebvre, who incidentally was the one who came up with the idea for the race in the first place, only briefly covered the start and finish of the race, traveling between the cities where the stages occurred. He even missed out on the arrival of Maurice Garin, the winner of the first stage, in Lyon. This did not prevent the Auto from bumping up its prints to over 40,000 copies. The Tour de France was actually a great success among the public, and it is estimated that roughly 100,000 spectators were present during the arrival of the racers in the countryside, and around 20,000 spectators in Paris. Straight off its success, the Tour de France would be held again the following year, and the winner would be once again Maurice Garin. A few months later, Garin and the three runner-ups in the general ranking were disqualified following accusations of cheating. Thus was born the legend of the tour.